all doing i hope you're all doing great welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back if you're a returning subscriber i really appreciate but if you're new here you are welcome and please before you leave this channel make sure you remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video in today's video guys east african men today i am exposing you my brothers <laughs> so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you the facts about dating east african men so the east african men that we're going to be discussing today specifically is tanzania kenya and uganda those three countries men from those three countries the reason is i have experienced dating tanzanian men because i'm a tanzanian i never dated a kenyan man but i've done my research and also i have never dated a ugandan man but due to the research that i have done that is why today i'm going to be talking about the facts <laughs> of dating east african men specifically those three countries and before i start our today's video i want to give a little disclaimer the facts that i'm going to be discussing or sharing with you today it's not that all east african men have got those facts but as i said due to the research that i have done and my own experience if you put them on a balance they are going to be like this <laughs> so the facts that i'm going to be discussing are these ones and these ones are those men who don't have those facts so i'm not here to offend anyone because i'm a tanzanian tanzanians are my brothers <laughs> kenyan men are our beloved neighbors my brothers also and my mother is a ugandan so ugandan men are my uncles so i'm not here to offend you please my brothers but you're having a life experience just enjoying and if you are planning to date an East African man, if something happens or one of these facts <laughs> happens while you're dating an East African man, you will remember that Bella did a video and talked about this. So it won't be a shock to you. So let us start our video now. Fact number one about dating East African men is cheating. <laughs> and I'm going to be starting with Tanzania my own countrymen <laughs> tanzanian men guys they can cheat they can cheat one man can have three girlfriends and they don't know each other every one of them knows that she is the only one and if you come to know that this man is cheating on you and ask him he will assure you that you are the chosen one you are the one I'm going to marry. Don't worry. He will make you feel like you are the queen. You know, if a man tells you that you are the chosen one, you are the one that I want to marry, you are the wife material. <laughs> he will tell you all those words, but it doesn't mean it's true. Not at all. He's telling you like that so that you won't leave him. So Tanzanian men are cheaters. And not only single men, even the married one, you can be beautiful you can have money but they will still cheat on you having money or being extra beautiful won't make him not cheat on you and even if he truly truly loves you he will still cheat on you i don't know why but it's like that <laughs> it is like that guys with tanzanian men mm, they really cheat I think I shared my story here when I dated a Tanzanian man and I knew he was my husband-to-be. Then in the end, I discovered that he had a fiancé who was studying in another country. But he made me feel like I was his wife-to-be. He introduced me to his family, you know, <laughs> they can go to that extent. But in the end, 
when I discovered I left him and he married that woman that he told me that and he was planning to leave her because they are incompatible but it wasn't true <laughs> so that is how Tanzanian men are guys they cheat a lot when it comes to cheating that is a very biggest problem so Kenyan men I've been told that Kenyan men also cheat they cheat a lot but if a Kenyan man truly loves you if he truly truly loves you then <laughs> he won't cheat on you but if it's not like that he will cheat on you with different different women and they also can cheat on their wives you can be in one apartment whereby there is a lot of tenants and your husband goes to an extent of impregnating your neighbor but you won't know that you will know that he is the father when the baby is born and he actually looks like your husband <laughs> so Kenyan men too are cheaters they also cheat Ugandan men they are divided they are two tribes that I'm going to be discussing here there is this tribe called Ankole tribe and another tribe is called Baganda if you are dating an Ankole man He's going to cheat on you and he might even show you that he is cheating on you because men from Ankole tribe, some of them don't respect their wives or their women. But if you're dating a man from Baganda tribe, then he won't cheat on you because they like to have more than two women, but he won't hide it from you. He will tell you that I have another girl or I want to marry another woman. It's like what they like and that is how it is. That is how the whole East African men, when it comes to cheating, that is the situation. Fact number two about dating East African men is lying. And I'll start with Tanzania, then Kenya and Uganda. Tanzanian men can lie but remember the disclaimer <laughs> not all but majority of Tanzanian men can lie they lie a lot especially when they want the goodies they will promise you a lot of things and some of them they might give you some not all <laughs> and then when they get the goodies they will just disappear all the good words all the sweet words that this man used to tell you before he got the goodies will just vanish even the promises that he promised you he will not fulfill and he will do everything to make sure that he ignores you he might even block you <laughs> or you might even meet and he pretends not to know you anymore that is how they can be they lie a lot and with Kenyan men I'm told that they are just the same they lie a lot and if a man really wants to get to you if he really wants the goodies also they will do everything possible they might. and after that then they'll just disappear just like that so they lie a lot before they get the goodies and when they get the goodies they run <laughs> With Ugandan men, it is also the same, but it depends with the tribe. Like I said before, if you are dating a Ugandan man and he's from Ankole tribe, then of course he's going to lie to you a lot before he gets to you. But if you're dating a Baganda tribe, they don't tend to lie so much because they will date you and if they want to date another person they'll also let you know they are more like honest you know even if <laughs> he is taking another woman even if it is wrong but he'll make sure that you know so they are more honest than the Ankole tribe but in overall East African men are liars so when you're dealing with an East African man, especially if you are dating, 
then you really need to be careful <laughs> don't be blinded by the sweetest words they're going to be telling you don't be blinded by the promises because they might not be true fact number three about dating east african men is stinginess <laughs> yes and i'll start with tanzanian men so if you're dating a tanzanian man you are not married yet they are not all that stingy he can shower you with gifts he can go ahead and buy for you big big gifts like buy for you a house or rent for you a very fancy apartment they can do that when you are dating and if you come across a tanzanian man who is stingy then what most women do they use a lot of tricks to make sure that these men give them something and they always give that's the truth you, most women use a lot of tricks like you lie to him you bring a lot of unbelievable stories in the end a tanzanian man is going to give his money they are not all that stingy when it comes to Kenyan men, I'm told Kenyan men are the most stingy ones. <laughs> you can date a Kenyan man for so long. You know when you're in a relationship, sometimes your boyfriend can spoil you, can give you some gifts. It doesn't have to be expensive, but gifts are really important when you are dating. But Kenyan men, I'm told they don't give anything to their girlfriends you can date a kenyan man for so long and he does not even know the price of your dress the price of the shoes you are wearing yes he will like to see you looking good but he doesn't want to know anything beyond that they are so stingy and even the married ones i'm told that a kenyan man you can be married and he buys everything in the house, everything, like everything, so that you don't have to ask money for something else. They are very, very stingy. But again, with this, remember the disclaimer, not all, but I'm told majority of Kenyan men, they are so stingy. <laughs> so lastly, Ugandan men, when it comes to stinginess, again they are divided baganda tribe they always take care of their women they are so responsible but when it comes to ankole tribe they use their women as slaves so they don't really care about their women it is really really sad but that's the truth Fact number four about dating East African men is beating. And this is very, very sad. So with Tanzanian men, it's not all Tanzanian men that beat their wives, but, but it depends with the tribe. There are some tribes who beat their wives a lot and it's just their culture. And even the women enjoys that example kuria tribe there's this tribe called kuria this kuria tribe if a if a man doesn't beat his wife or if you're married to a man and he does not beat you then he doesn't love you but if he beats you then it means that he truly loves you so it's normal and women have accepted that it's their culture <laughs> Even the Maasai, they have this culture of beating their wives if they wrong them. But apart from that, Tanzanian men don't have that behavior of beating their wives. When it comes to Kenyan men, I'm told Kenyan men beat their wives a lot, a lot. It is not even the matter of tribe. It is the matter of where this man grew up if the man you are dating if a kenyan man that you are dating 
was born in the village, raised in the village, saw his mother and the father fighting. So he grew up with that mentality. Even if he is educated, he will still beat you. Even if you live in the city, he will still beat you up. <laughs> but the ones that grew up in the city they have never seen their parents fighting like a father beating a wife then this man will never touch you so it is like that Kenyan men beat their wives a lot beat their girlfriends a lot in fact there is a friend of mine who told me that used to date a Kenyan man and this Kenyan man used to beat her up just for the matter of jealousy if a, if another guy looks at her then he will come and beat up this girl tell her that why did that man look at you why was he looking at you why was he admiring you then he will beat her up so Kenyan men beat their wives a lot Uganda like I said today, I'm discussing two tribes that I know that I have done the research. Ankole tribe beats their women a lot, like babies, even in front of their kids. They beat them a lot, guys. <laughs> Not the slaps, beat them even with the stick, like caning them in front of their kids, which is really, really bad but that is their behavior. They beat their women a lot, guys, a lot, this Ankole tribe. But when it comes to Baganda tribe, they really love their women. They don't beat their women at all. That is what the research that I have done tells me. So that is how it is when it comes to the situation of East African men beating their women Fact number five about dating East African men is commitment. And I'll start with Tanzania. When it comes to commitment, Tanzanian men are committed. Like I said, you might be four, but among those four girls, there is the one that is really, really chosen. But to know that if you're the chosen, that is really hard. But they are committed, you'll date him and he will marry you if he truly loves you. Another thing is said that Tanzanian women are very beautiful <laughs> because there is a lot of mixed, mixed races. We have Tanzanians who have this Indian look. We have Tanzanians who have Arabic look. We have all Tanzanian women of every qualities. <laughs> If you want a tall, short, uh, light-skinned or melanin, you will get in Tanzania. So it is said Tanzanian women are very, very beautiful and this confuses men. <laughs> Even if he is married, they will still cheat due to temptation. Everywhere you go, you find a beautiful girl. You walk in the street, you see very beautiful, beautiful <laughs> <laughs> ladies if you approach them and insist give them sweet words eventually you get the goodies so it is more easier for Tanzanian men to cheat but I think that one does not justify them to cheat I don't accept that <laughs> stop cheating <laughs> so when it comes to commitment yes they can be committed they can marry you they will still cheat and even some married tanzanian men a girl can know a guy is married but she'll still stick to that man because she's getting everything maybe he is paying for the rent he has bought a car for her so she does not want to lose that even if he is married she will still stick to that man so you see guys that is the whole situation about tanzanian men so kenyan men i'm told kenyan men majority majority of them don't like to be committed you will date you just want to have fun with you 
and then move to the next girl. And the most thing that they are good at is impregnating women. He will impregnate you and leave you with your kid as a single mother. And he won't even take care of that kid. But they are so, so difficult. It is so hard for a Kenyan man to be committed. They like to have fun just like that from one girl to another girl. If it is not true, please comment below. I would like to know, but due to the research that I have done, most of them have said that Kenyan men are not committed at all. <laughs> but if he marries you, then he's going to respect you. He's going to love you truly. Now, Ugandan men, when it comes to commitment, Ugandan men are committed. They are just the same as Tanzanian men. They are committed, but they will play games, especially the Ankole tribe, but they will still marry you. It's not like Kenyan men who like to play around. Fact number six about dating East African men is romantic. So when it comes to Tanzanian men, they are really, really romantic. Very romantic guys. Like I said, they'll give you sweet words. He'll promise you the world. And some of the promises, he might fulfill them. But the problem, when he gets to you, when he gets the goodies, then he goes away. But when it comes to being romantic, they are really, really romantic. So, Kenyan men. I'm told Kenyan men aren't romantic at all. <laughs> they are not romantic. And another thing is that Kenyan men, even in bed, they are not romantic. They don't know how to prepare their women. <laughs> I was given one example, like he can touch you and when you do like, ah, then he wants to jump on you <laughs> and finish the whole, <laughs> the whole story. So I'm told Kenyan men are not romantic at all, at all, at all. <laughs> this is really, really sad. But again, remember the disclaimer, guys. I don't want Kenyan men to come here and crucify me <laughs> of what I've said. I've done the research. <laughs> They say, Kenyan men, you are not romantic. <laughs> Where is the problem? <laughs> and lastly, Ugandan men, again, divided. This uncle tribe, again, you are a slave to him. So they are not romantic. They aren't romantic. You have to do it because a man gives orders <laughs> and you have to follow. But when it comes to Baganda tribe, they are very, very romantic guys. They are so romantic. And I remember I studied in Uganda in my high school and I used to see the boys who used to date other girls, these Baganda boys. Oh my God. They could really talk very romantically. So Baganda tribe are so, so romantic. But this other tribe, mm -mm. No. A seven fact about dating East African men is they like women with money. <laughs> so with Tanzanian men, mm -mm, it's not that way. It's not like that. Uh, Tanzanian men provides, like I said, they like to provide, but the problem with Tanzanian men who likes women with money, they are the young generation, like a boy of maybe 20 years can date a lady of 45 years and the lady is well off. This boy will stay with this woman just because she has money, but it doesn't mean that that boy won't cheat on the sugar mommy, no. He will still cheat, but he will date this woman just because he has got money. 
when it comes to Kenyan men, I'm told most Kenyan men like women with money, women who have money. <laughs> that is what I'm told. So if you have money in Kenya and you are a woman, then be sure you get a man to settle with. But if you don't have money, that is when you have men, but they'll just play games with you. Another thing that I'm told is that if a Kenyan man is rich, then he'll have all sorts of bad things. He'll be a womanizer. He'll be a bad man. Rich one, they are the problematic ones. I don't know why. <laughs> but it is said to be like that. And they are irresponsible. Imagine, the guy is rich and he is irresponsible. That's really, really bad. <laughs> so when it comes to Ugandan men, Ugandan men also provide especially the Baganda tribe, provides to their women. The Ankole tribe, the situation is the same, guys. It doesn't change that much. You are a slave and he will provide maybe food, but taking care of you, he does not care because you are his slave. Remember, guys, these words are so strong. Again, I don't want you to crucify me, Please remember the disclaimer because I remember I did a video about West African men and I've been getting comments. Oh my God. <laughs> One time ago, I got a comment and this person was saying, leave alone our West African men. <laughs> Stick to your men. <laughs> so I don't want that thing to happen. But again, you're free to express uh, your feelings. You're free to write whatever you want to write. <laughs> But I gave a disclaimer, guys. <laughs> Fact number eight about dating East African men is the problem with alcohol. And I'm going to go straight and start with Kenyan men because I'm told most Kenyan men are drunkards. <laughs> they drink a lot and if a man is rich, oh my God, it is worse. It is going to be alcohol, women and all that. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to Ugandan men, Ugandan men, Baganda tribe, they are not all that much uh, into alcohol. But Ankole tribe, I'm so sorry, my uncles, but Ankole tribe, Ankole men, they are drunkards. They drink a lot. They drink, drink a lot. A man will stay at the bar and return at home midnight drunk and if a wife complains about that that man is going to beat up that woman and he might even make that woman sleep outside of the house that is how these men can be that is how Ankole tribe men can be they are drunkards very very much <laughs> but baganda they are good they don't have all that big problem with alcohol now tanzanian men my own country men <laughs> not all not all so i can't say that tanzanian men are drunkards i can't really say i think here it depends with a man yes at least according to my own experience so guys those were the facts about dating an east african man and if you come across one of those facts when dating an east african man then don't be in a shock that is the situation thank you so much guys for watching this video i really appreciate you much and i know your time is so precious so being here watching my video till this stage oh my god i love you so much so please like this video if you've liked it give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think is going to enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too don't forget to comment comment below what you think i would like to know your thoughts <laughs> remember to subscribe please if you have not subscribed i want our family to grow so help me click 
the subscribe button. You're always here in my heart. Let us meet in my next video. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.